Welcome to another video by yours truly, Tony Solo. Okay, you gotta forgive me if the construction sounds in the background. I'm making a lot of noise. I have no clue how much of the mic is picking it up. But I want to talk to you about something that's probably going to give you the chance to relax a little bit more when you're around women. Beautiful women get nervous too. As much as we feel like we're nervous when we go up to women, they get nervous, they just get nervous in a different way. But why did I choose to do a video on this topic? Did I choose to do a video on this topic because I feel that women should stop being, so, being put on the pedestal so much? Did I do this because I feel like women need to stop getting so much appreciation? No. I've done this video to just show you the truth into what is it like being human? What is it like being a beautiful woman? I'm not a beautiful woman. Have I had beautiful women? Yes. Do I have a beautiful woman now? Yes. But I'm here to tell you that they're not these godlike creatures who don't go through pain, who don't go through suffering, who don't go through feeling like they're nervous and can't do something in doubt. They absolutely go through it. But we put them on a pedestal to the point where they are simply inhuman. They're simply these creatures where they don't go through anything. They go through these normal things of, you know, having to do this and having to do this, the day-to-day -day trials, but they don't have to go through feeling like you're nervous and you can't do something, feeling like you are completely unworthy of something. And I'm here to tell you that they do go through this, just in a different way most of the time. Because as you, have, as you heard many guys out there break down beautiful women, <clears throat> they don't get a lot of criticism. They don't get people telling them that they can't do something. They don't get people telling them that they're unattractive. They don't get people telling them that they need to be this or this to be able to get something. They're just told that you are enough the way you are and you can have whatever you want. That's what they get fed into, which has a drawback, of course. But why do beautiful women get nervous? Well, first of all, let me tell you why we get nervous as men. We see a woman that we want to talk to, and we're like, oh my God, that girl's beautiful. She is. And we start to go into, am I enough for that girl? That's the first thread that we really go through as men. Is am I enough? And the way we work that out is attractiveness, what she looks like, what we look like. The next thing we work out is where am I at in life? And can I be able to give her what she needs? And we, we believe that we already know what she needs. So we're already projecting for it. Can I give her what she needs based on this type of girl? And we go, no, well, you know, if I had, a, a, you know, friends who were a little bit cooler, if I had a lifestyle that was a little bit more interesting, if I had much more success in my career, then I'll be able to get a girl like that and she'll be able to come into my life and I'll be able to give her what she needs because beautiful women want these things. This is what they want. This is what a man goes through. He's like, beautiful women want these things and right now I can't provide her with these things. And the external providing that guys look for, like can I provide her for this and with this and with this, is the thing that becomes the core. And this is incredibly misleading because there's schools of seduction and there's guys out there who make it seem like you have to have everything together in your life before you get a woman that's beautiful. And before you get a woman that has some realization going on in her life, meaning like she's more self-realized. They make it seem like you gotta have something so put together to get a woman like that. And I could tell you right now that this is the furthest from the truth. To get women who are screening for guys who are successful, absolutely you have to have more. You need to have more because they're screening for guys who need to be successful for them to feel like they want to have them. Really. 
But who even wants women like that, honestly? Who wants women where you have to be something externally for you to get her? If you want a woman like that, then you will be misled because you will continuously believe that, okay, I have to become this, I have to be this, I have to do this, I have to have this to be able to get women like that. And the moment you're operating like that, you're not operating from you. You're operating from a standard of what you believe beautiful women want. And what do guys do? They turn themselves into a standard. They don't become more realized as a person, they become more of a standard. Which means now they have something more that they have to live up to. And now when they live up to that, then they can get those type of women. But you ask any guy out there who has to live up to the standard, are you truly happy with the women you're with? I can tell you right now, if you break him down, I can guarantee you it'll be no. It'll be no. Because you're living a lie. You're living something that you feel like you have to be to get something else. And I did this so many times. It, I remember times where I would see a girl in a club, and this is the main time that guys really feel this. They see a girl in the club and they feel like, I can't get this girl. So what you do is that you walk up to her and you start to play out things, act in ways, talk in ways to try to get that girl. And when you're in front of her, you just never feel at ease, never. You never feel at ease because you're always forced into a position where you have to do something to get her, where you have to be a certain way to get this woman. When you're placed in that position, you can never ever feel calm. You'll never ever feel relaxed because you're living up to something that you have to do to get that woman. You will never ever feel relaxed. And I would go up to a girl, and I remember one particular girl, it was this black girl, she was in a school. I walked up to her and she was like, I can guarantee you she was the girl in the school that every guy wanted. If not, Every guy, most of the guys in that school, most of the black guys probably in that school wanted her. But this was in my brother uh, technical college and I walked up to this girl and when I walked up to her, she was sitting there and she was looking attractive and I'm like, all right, finally I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna talk to this girl. I've been gaming for a while. I can guarantee you I have what it takes. So I walk up to her and I start talking to her. So let's say she's there. I look at her and I go, hey, and I sit down and I tell her that she's attractive in some way and I start to talk to her. And then she just becomes kind of rude to me in a way. And I start to feel, fuck, she's being rude to me and, and, I'm, and I'm not enough for her because that's why she's being rude to me. So I start trying to play out this thing where I'm trying to be cool and, and trying to play indifferent and I'm trying to make it seem like I don't like her and you know trying to make it seem like you know I'm trying to play down her beauty that you know you're attractive but, but what else is interesting about you trying to do all these different things to make myself worthy in that moment and that led me to walking away when I walked away I went you know what I'm gonna go back and I'm going to I'm gonna make her feel and know that she's not as beautiful as she's think. I'm gonna cut her down and I'm gonna let her feel that fuck, I, can't, I, am, I am enough. So I walked back to the girl and I said, hey, and, I, and she's like, hey, she just looked at me again. And I went, so, what's so interesting about you? I was so fucking like in my feelings. What's so interesting about you? And she goes, what are you talking about? And I go, okay, you're sitting here, you're trying to make it seem like you're all attractive. What's so interesting about you? I was just feeling in that moment that I didn't want to feel less of her. I didn't want to feel less than this woman. So when I walked up and did this, I really felt like, fuck, I'm tired of this. I'm not going to feel like I'm not worthy anymore of a woman that's beautiful. And then walking away, I looked over it, you know, over the next few days and I was like, that's not, that wasn't right for me to do. You know, I went up and did that. but. It didn't feel good on the after effect. It didn't feel good at all. Then I started to come to that, why is it that I could feel so nervous, so, so nervous when I'm going up to a girl and when I'm in front of a beautiful woman, 
why is it that I feel so nervous and she's just so calm? I just didn't know why. I, I just wanted to figure it out. Like, why am I so nervous and she is just normal? And then I started to come to the truth. And that truth was beautiful women get nervous too, but they don't get nervous in the way that I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous just walking up to the girl and saying hello. That's how I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous just sitting there in the moment and having her not give me a good response back. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous when I ask her a question and she gives me a small answer and I don't know what to say next. That's how I'm getting nervous. But she gets nervous when you start to peel beneath the surface about allowing her to feel that she's really telling you about who she is. This is when she will get nervous the most. Beautiful women, when you walk up to them, one of the great things I started to see over time is they're so at ease with the fact that they're attractive. They're really at ease with that. It's not a new thing to them. This is why some guys say don't tell beautiful women that they're beautiful or attractive. It's because they're so at ease with it, it's just like telling you that you're a guy. That's how at ease they are with it. Because most of them don't know how to restart or, or just become humble, so humble that they can feel that they feel appreciated each time a man can tell them they're beautiful. They just, many of the times, become, okay, I'm beautiful, yeah, that's it. And they, then they start to flaunt it, really. Or they start to make an image around it, which most of them do. And then that becomes their normal identity. So their identity is built. But what goes past their identity is when a man wants to know them for them. This is why the route that you're on right now will make beautiful women the most nervous that they'll be. And if that route is, I'm guessing, becoming more self-realized, which means understanding who you are besides what you've learned to be, or what you've been conditioned to be. This is the thing that's going to make women nervous when you start to ask them about them. So it's kind of crazy that the thing that we're actually learning to do the most as men, you know, the men who are in this video and other guys out there who are learning to be more self-actualized, that's the thing that's gonna make a beautiful woman the most scared when you talk to her is asking her and wanting her to reveal things about who she is beyond what she knows what she knows in this moment is that I'm beautiful I like doing this I enjoy doing this that's what she knows but she doesn't know the true depth of beauty many of the times I've rare to meet I've only literally met honestly one woman, honestly, I've met only one woman who can really say she can understand the depth of her beauty and she can be able to affect men. And she's 41 years old. She's a friend of mine. That's the only woman I've met who can really do that from the beginning. Of course, the girl that I have now, she's become to understand that. But women, beautiful women, they don't know really how beautiful they are. They know how beautiful they are as far as physically, but if I said to a beautiful woman, do you think that you're beautiful? She'll go, yeah, I think that I'm beautiful. And I go, why do you think that you're beautiful? She goes, because, I don't know, you know, you hear it your whole life and then you kind of get normal to it. And also, I feel like, you know, I'm just confident enough in my looks to say that I am. But then I go, do you know how beautiful you are? She go, what does that mean? What, how beautiful I am? And I go, do you know that you have the ability to not only affect men while you're walking down the street, but you have the ability to affect any person that's in your sphere? This is not the beauty that's on an exterior. This is the beauty that lies within. This is the beauty of a woman that when she's walking down the street, she can impact every person walking past. Her internal radiance can shine so strongly that every person that she walks past can be lit up. Her beauty can only do one thing, get people to go, she's beautiful. But she has the ability, not only just with that, but internally to impact lives in a way where they can feel enlivened. 
she has the ability that when she's in front of a man to give him the chance to sink into the depth of who he is. That's the kind of beauty that if I brought to a beautiful woman's attention and which I have that they don't know much about. This is very different. This is the beauty where only so many women in life, I would say a very small handful of women will truly understand. And a very small handful of men will be able to show a woman how beautiful she is. Because how beautiful a woman really is goes far beyond what you guys see. She's energetically so beautiful that she can have influence unlike you could ever have. Women have a, a, a beautiful energetic influence so much more powerful than ours. They really do. This is why a woman walking down the street and smiling, and really a woman that's in love many of the times, she is so beautiful. I don't care if she's not even physically attractive. She is really attractive to every man or every person that's looking. What makes beautiful women nervous is not what you think. It's not, okay, you know what? Tell me something about you that, you know, and you try to downplay their looks. Any man that tries to downplay a beautiful woman's looks is going in trying to get her. He is, he's trying to get her. He's not there, he's not being there with her and he's interested in her and really genuinely interested. He's trying to get her. He's doing a pickup. He'll downplay her beauty. He'll say things like, you know, you're attractive, but you know, every, most girls are. So what's different about you? The moment he does that, he's downplaying, he is. He's downplaying to try to make her not feel that she's so beautiful or that she's so much the shit. That's what he's trying to do in that moment. But any guy who's really there with a woman, he doesn't have to downplay her beauty, but he's not so fixated on her beauty that he forgets about who she is as a woman. He forgets that a beautiful woman, she still wants to be wanted. She still wants to be appreciated for who she is, also in her beauty as well. She still wants that. I enjoy when I'm in front of a beautiful woman and telling her how attractive she is to me. But that's not the thing I get caught up in. I don't get caught up in simply just telling her how attractive she is like I used to. I used to get caught up in, she's so attractive, I need to tell her this, and every moment that I feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna tell her a, comp a compliment about how beautiful she is. I did this over and over and over, and then I went, why am I complimenting so much? It's because I'm getting nervous and I'm telling her that she's attractive out of that. So I, I would be in front of her, example, and I would be talking to her, and in the moment where I feel like I run out of things to say, I would just go, Wow, you're really attractive. And I would just say that, uh, just from me totally reacting to the moment over and over and over, and not sitting with the, the, the pressure I felt on the inside. Beautiful women get nervous when you ask them to reveal themselves. That's when they will get nervous. But from you coming up and saying you're beautiful, you're attractive, most of the time they will not get nervous. They're used to that. They won't get nervous. Their identity have told them that over and over and over. So all you're doing is reconfirming to them that they are. So their identity is getting stronger, that's it. But when you take them beyond their identity, when you ask them things that you really wanna ask them, when you allow them to start to reveal themselves in a different way, not in a way where you're trying to downplay them, but in a way where you're trying to really get to, get to know who she is besides what she knows. What she knows is what everybody keeps telling her. It's what she's built off what people keep telling her. That's what she knows. But many other times, she won't be able to really give you who she is beyond what she knows. And this is why with the route that you're on right now, this is the route to making you less nervous, but in many ways, it's the route to making women more nervous around you. Because the more quiet you, come, you become within, 
the more aware you become, the more actualized you become, the more self-realized you become, the more powerful you become. The most powerful beings on the planet are the ones who are the most realized. Those who are willing to let go of who they think they are for who they actually are. The more that a person is willing to do that, the more powerful and influential they'll be. That's why I say the route that you're moving right now is the route that's going to make beautiful women the most nervous. You can relax a little bit because you also understand and now you have insight into that beautiful women actually get nervous as well. They don't get nervous when you come up and you are standing in front of them, no. They get nervous in moments of silence. Because when silence is there, that's when the truth reveals itself. That's when a person can be the most themselves is in silence. This is why any of you guys who are talking to beautiful women, I would say when you are there with her, you need to speak less. You need to. Because in silence, you, it will become more realized about who she is. This is what I love about beautiful women though, is that they do have the great chance to understand who they are outside of what they know. But guess who gives them the chance to do that? This is not you versus beautiful women. This is you being able to understand that you also have the gift to be able to show them that they're much more than what they think. When you're in front of a woman and you give her the chance to do that by just holding space in front of her and allowing her to know that, yeah, you're beautiful, but there's another thing that's to this. There's a chance for you to be able to really let go of all of what you think you are and really start to just show things about you. This brings me to a girl where she's really attractive to me and we're together and she didn't know much about her. She was attractive though. She didn't know much about herself. She didn't. That's all she knew that guys would tell her that I'm pretty. And she even told me that, oh no, no, it just feels good when a guy tells me that my eyes are beautiful or that I'm pretty. This feels good to me. But I was the first guy that came in and showed her that that's great that guys do that. It's great that guys let you feel appreciated. That's good. But you're much more than what you think. You're not just some beautiful girl who works at a store as a manager who goes to work, who goes out on the weekends. You know, you're not just that. You're much more beautiful than you think. That was my, of course, the space that I held for her. I didn't tell her that, but that's the space I held for her. And then over time, you know, I started to notice that her sense of humor is my favorite thing about her. She actually has dreams. She wants to go to London. She wants to travel the world. She wants to do that. She wants to be in fashion. That's what she really wants to do. She doesn't want to be a manager at Zara. She doesn't want to do that. She wants to be something different. No, a Stradivarius, not Zara, Stradivarius in, in Europe. She doesn't want to do that. And with this, she started to understand that there's so much more to me and there's so much more to what I can do. Even to the point where there was a moment where she was going through something and she couldn't have anybody to turn to. She had best friends. She had a sister. She could have turned to any, any, any of them, but she turned to me in the moment where she was really going through something in her life. She turned to me and that was at the time where she could, was barely interacting with me. Because we had a time where we were like distant to each other. She was barely interacting with me, but even in the moments where she was barely interacting with me, she still came back to me in those moments and wanted to see me when she was going through something. She even said, yeah, you know, I could be with my friend, but she doesn't really, you know, it's just girl talk. You offer a woman something very different. You do. You offer her the chance to know how beautiful she is. Beautiful women get nervous when they have to reveal how, reveal how beautiful they actually are. Because most of them don't know how beautiful they actually are. As a person, as a being, they don't know that. It feels normal to them, like, yeah, I'm beautiful. But I'm like, are you really beautiful? Do you know how beautiful you are? You don't know that. You don't. Most, I've never met a woman who, who was able to see to the depth of beauty that I saw in her. Never met a woman like that. 
or like I said, my friend, but any woman that I've approached on the street, she's never been able to. But I've offered her that great gift of being able to see how beautiful she actually is. Because she doesn't know most of the time. Because I am deep in myself, so I can see to her how beautiful she is in herself. That's the gift that I can offer her. And that's the gift that you offer beautiful women. It's a chance to give them the chance to break away from what they know for who they actually, for who they actually are. Because that's what you're doing in life. So that means that you can give that gift to other people and especially to beautiful women. They get nervous when they have to do that. They don't get nervous with their beauty. So if you're going up to women and you're feeling like, okay, I'm so fixated on the beauty, understand that they don't care as much as you think about that and go up to beautiful women. Notice the responses that you get when you tell them that they're attractive or they're beautiful. It may be, thank you, very normal. Or that's so sweet, thank you so much. Or, some of them even go, thanks. It's just so normal to them. So what does this mean for you? It means, Go out there and enjoy talking to women. Beautiful women. Have compassion for the fact that most beautiful women don't know who they are outside of what they've been fed. They don't know who they are outside of what they've been conditioned into. There's no difference between conditioning between beautiful women and you. It's just that they've been conditioned in a different way. That's it. But they still have went through conditioning. And as you disidentify from your conditioning and you become more free as a person, most beautiful women are not becoming more free as a person. They're not. Because they're getting fed something totally different and their belief about things is very, very different. Very different. You now have the gift though to give them the chance to be who they are outside of who they think they are. Because that's the route you're going. Inevitably, you'll start to attract women who want that as well. Or you'll attract the part of them that wants that as well. To let you guys know, the tickets are ready now. For New York City, the tickets are ready now. Please, if you want to, come join me for the first ever Q&A seduction seminar. These are the seminars that I run around the world now. November 4th, I'll be in New York City. And to find out more information about that, click the description box below. There's a link there. Click that link in the description box. It's right below the video. Just click it, it's a blue link. Click it, it'll take you there, and you will know all about it. In the meantime, I do have a free seduction course. Everything from meat to bedroom. What do you do when you approach the girl? All the way to, what do you do when you get to the bedroom? Oh no, when you get to the doorstep, oh, about how to get in the bedroom. Totally free for you. You can have that in the meantime until you join me. Subscribe and share. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want. In life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll see you tomorrow. This is yours truly, Tony Solon.